Hello, welcome to script for new Linux learners. In this video, I'm going to capture uh, three area. Which one? The first one would be the operator, and in this operator, I will use modulus as example in the the remainder, or you may call it that way. And I will write that in Per, uh, in Per Bash, uh, Python, and Per. And the next uh, script uh, series, I will write a how to get a Linux command and place them in script, which is I will get a in this example, I will run the user new user command and put in bash, python, and per. And the last one, I'm going to run another basic stuff, um, Linux command, and I put them into the cron tabs, which is run like every two minutes, for example. In this scenario, I will use a two minutes uh, example. Okay, here we go. So I got my uh, Linux ready there for you. So the, my first, uh, um, what is that, operator, right? So I do uh, nano or vi, you can do nano or vi. Nano uh, operator, I do bash, uh, bash, all oh, right, bash dot op. Then um, I have the script already, so I just copy and paste over. So I have an example here, um, the example that I'm going to read I'm going to read two value, first value and second value from the keyboard, yeah, and then uh, the first one will be a uh, dim uh, numerator, and the bottom one will be the the, uh, the y, okay, denominator. So then the answer will be there. So that's an example how you write a little script in Bash. So I'm all right with that. Save them and get out of there. For how to play around with the script, you can visit my YouTube. Uh, another video on that beginner for play around with the list so first one I got to add permission then I had a file there now I run that file so first number would be example 5 number second number 3 so the answer would be 2 I believe there we go so that's an example for for bash uh, for bash to run the symbol operator for further information for, for, for Bash, you can try out um, some of the uh, uh, searching on the net, plenty of them. For Bash here, the operator, that's what I get the example from. Um, there we go. So do some search on the net and find out how you get out route with this on this operator. They have all this operator. Subtract, minus, division, multiply, that's what I just done, uh, edit, that's what I just used. And you can see the answer there. So that's the very basic how you get around with the script in, in Bash. Okay, the same um, the same modulus, and now this time I use in um, and now this time I use in in Python, right? So I do uh, nano nano, and then going to say Python Python dot operator. And then I also have ready my example. I copy and put it over for you. Um, you can visit this. Uh, I, I will copy on this script at the bottom of my video on uh, your own the channel, so you can copy and paste them if, if you wish to. So in uh, here, Python again, uh, the first line, and then the, read the first number and get the value of this number. Put in the number right there or any value there, and again print out the print out the new you know guide. And then get it in, and then melt there, divide them, and put it over here. That's for uh, Python. It really is handy. Okay, and Control O, save them. Control X, get out of there. Of course, I have to give them permission again. Um, Python, and then run them. Uh, first number example is three. Sorry, yeah, four. Second number will be three. The answer will be one. There we go. So similarly, I do in uh, in per right. So per dot example. Um, then I got my ready sample there. I copy, keep it in for you. Have a look. So again, this is per right. Then example, if you remove that, you get a, you will get some issue there. So let let play with some error here. See how you go. Example, I don't I don't put semicolon at the end of that. So this is Perl, right? Not Python. Python is a little bit easier for that. 
Okay, so of course it's the first time I give them permission. Um, okay, now I run them. There we go. That's it. Near line seven something there, and then something something there. Near line seven. So I come back to my script. Check on where line seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Near line seven. So I guess it's here. Or you can play around with that. Or if you use VR, you can turn it on if you wish to turn on the line. Okay, save them again and then run them again. Okay, the first number is 7, the second number is 5, the answer will be 2. There we go. So that's the, how you play around with the scripting in, in, um, in Bash. So one, one function only you can do in Bash, uh, which Bash uh, you can do in Python or you can do in Perl. Okay, for the next series, that example I have it here already, that I'm going to add a username using the write a tiny script that I used in Bash and I use in Python, and then I also do the same thing for for Perl. Okay, so first one, so I'm going to do the tiny Bash for add username. Okay, so now this time I use vi. Okay, vi space. Um, what is that? Uh, user you add s u s new dot bash example then in here first you got the top letter i to insert and then i paste them in okay i'm saved them his escape uh semicolon there look at that colon w right and uh, of course i got to give them permission of course uh s s And then done. Now I run them. Bash, and of course, the script the script I have here is mean that you got to put the dollar one. Dollar one is the 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 option you have to put right the keyboard here, right here. So you run the script, not enter. Run the script, put the username. So example, I put the username say test ten. Okay, that's the value we pass down to to the dollar one. Enter a new new username the, and the password for that I'll just type the symbol one yeah it's symbol password you could say too short so I'm happy with that so then example for bash so what is this example actually that's a the linear command directly and that's the linear command directly and that the value passed out from the keyboard and have a look you can compare the value that how the symbol command in in Python they run different way there we go that how you do that in in, in Python and the same thing here okay and have have a look per and then in Python you have to do imports OS all of that and again in here you have to drop it out the value at the end of the keyboard at the end of whatever trailing value you may call that or system that's a system call so in here in Python you go start with that if you call any Linux from from the uh, and you call any Linux directly from a system because add new and user add and pass it the Linux command and then you add into the script but for bash it's a lot easier here there we go it's not that simple look right so in here now I do example again now no um, add new dot python okay I to insert I paste him in and then escape semicolon colon w q First time, give them permission as new.py. Okay, run them at new.py. At, oh, no, no. Which one did I really did? Okay, no, no, as you. Uh, at u.py. Okay, enter the username, say test11. Now I put the password, very simple one, of course they complain about that. Okay, that's done. The similarly, have a look here. So I, I believe I will put it there and you try it out by yourself. I won't try it out wasting your time. So you can copy that, have a look. Chom, if you don't know what is chom, you find on the net. So that's a standard input from, from keyboard in, in per. And here the standard input, that's a standard input from 
um, from uh, Python. So that's how you figure them out. In the similar here, see that input directly, input the raw input, and this is per input. So you have to find out a little bit, uh, learn a little bit about that. Okay, so I will copy put it there. I won't run that script. Of course, it's working. I had tests already. And the last one, example. Now I'm going to do a small script. Okay, a small script in 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 uh, in bash that to do a pin command example. So instead of okay now, I want to run this one command. It's automatically uh, a couple times. So if I run this command here two times, yeah, it two packet pin to yahoo.com. Instead of that, I want to write the script and then it's run automatically in certain times, say every two minutes. So that how the command that how the command you run in bash and that's how command you run in in, per, in Python. Okay, again, that's Python OS, whatever. You can search more information about that. Okay, to close up, so I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to make my script, right? So now I clear the screen and I make a script with the um, nano this time. So uh, run me, run me dot uh, bash example. Okay. Then I put it in there, make it very simple there. Then I save them, save them, and get out. Of course, give them the script, right? Plus Y, uh, then run me. Now the script is location here. Okay, that's the script name, and the location of this will be in here. So now, how can I make it run every two minutes? Okay, or now you can try and see whether it worked before you run one. To two packets, so the script is run right now. I'm going to put that script into Chrome tab. So, Chrome tab. If you have, by the way, you have to have your internet directly from here, right? If you're Linux, you don't have internet, internet from here, or you're behind the proxy, you have to play around with that. It might not work, okay? For this uh, script, again, you need to have direct internet. So, Chrome tab dash E. And then I'm going to here, I this VI, right? In search, I'm going to do two minutes, right? So one, two, value two, value three, value four, value five. If you want to know what is that value, you can go into uh, search cron in wiki and uh, in whatever on the net. I have this one, it's quite it's informative here. Then you can play around with this here. Example, configuration. So the first value would be minutes, okay? A second value will be hour. So all of that you read by yourself, right? And then you can play around with that. Okay? So in this particular case, I do Chrome Tech Desk E. So you might find out what's Chrome Tech Desk E. It's not just overnight task. Okay, now uh, that's a five task. Then where my script root uh, cast and run me dot bash, I believe. Run me dot bash. Um, if I'm wrong, I come back later. Okay, where I'm saving data. Okay, I'm saving data the same folder and then uh, cast dot data. Okay, sorry, uh, data dot txt. It means that all the output from this command will be saved in here whenever it is run. Okay, so I will check on that. I'm done. Uh, run me is it run me dot bash that's run me dot bash run me dot bash run me dot bash that's good so again uh, run every two minutes and that's it the rest leave it there and the location the script and I do amend uh, sorry append so it means that it's run below at add below below of this data every time the new output come out all right so I'm quick that now run so now the time now is the time now sorry uh, day the time now is and I by the way I don't have the data here right it will show the data here for the first time and the time now is six so right, eight will be the data will show up there all right okay now you see the data there and you can less data there if you can see this the file is there Okay, there is some mistakes in the script before that's not work. Oop. Um, uh, there is a mistake in the path, alright? So if you can, just you can de debug them from the net. 